Once we've mastered multiplying with fractions, the next logical step is to talk about dividing with fractions. And to set up how we divide by fractions, I first want to talk about this important property called the reciprocal. And the reciprocal has the important property of taking a fraction like 5 sevenths and flipping it over to get 7 fifths. Those are reciprocals. And why reciprocals are important is if we multiply reciprocals together, 5 sevenths times 7 fifths, the sevens reduce out leaving ones, and the fives reduce out leaving ones, and so we get one over one or just one. And it's really nice to have one when working with fractions. Let me show you why. We're going to do 2 thirds divided by 5 sevenths. And I'm going to rewrite that problem as 2 thirds over 5 sevenths, because division is just really a fancy way of writing a uh, fraction. Well, I can multiply by the same thing on top and bottom, and I'll get an equivalent fraction. And look what happens when we multiply by the reciprocal of 7 fifths on top and bottom. On the top, we get 2 times 7 is 14, over 3 times 5 is 15. On the bottom, when we multiply, we reduce first, and so everything reduces out to give us those ones, which means we have 14 fifths divided by 1, and dividing by 1 doesn't really change the value, and so we end up with 14 fifteenths. And so this is going to give way to how we're going to divide by fractions. The short answer is we're never going to divide by fractions. Just like when working with negatives, we said we never subtract. You always add the opposite. With division, we're going to multiply by the reciprocal. Notice 2 thirds divided by 5 sevenths gave 2 thirds times 7 fifths. We are going to multiply by the reciprocal. So let's do some examples. Let's try 14 fifteenths divided by 35 sixths. Well, we're never actually going to divide. We're going to take the 14 fifteenths and multiply by the reciprocal of 6 over 35. I can do some reducing. 14 and 35 are both divisible by 7, 2 and 5 times. 6 and 15 are both divisible by 3. Dividing by 3 gives me 2 and 5, and so I have 2 times 2, which is 4, over 5 times 5, which is 25, and we've divided 14 fifteenths by 35 sixths. Let's try 4 ninths divided by the whole number of 14. Well, we can make that 14 a fraction by putting it over 1, and we know we never divide. We just multiply by the reciprocal. So instead of dividing, we're multiplying, and the reciprocal is 1 over 14. Some quick reducing with the 14 and the 4, both divisible by 2. 2 times 1 is 2. 9 times 7 is 63. And so when we divide 4 ninths by 14, we get 2 60 thirds. Let's try one last example, maybe one with some variables in it. Let's try 14m divided by 30n divided by 21 over 5m squared n. Again, we never divide. We only multiply by the reciprocal. So I'll write this as 14m over 30n times, and then the reciprocal, 5m squared n over 21. Looking for some reducing, I see 14 and 21 are both divisible by 7, leaving behind 2 and 3. 30 and 5, those are both divisible by 5, leaving behind 6 and 1. And I can actually reduce a little bit more. 2 over 6, dividing by 2, leaves behind 1 and 3. Now I look at the letters. I see a single N in the bottom, dividing out with a single N on top. And so what I'm left with is 1 times 1, which is 1. m times m squared, that's a total of 3m's that are multiplied together, m cubed. Over 3 times 3 is 9. m cubed over 9 is my final answer. So how do we divide by fractions? We don't. We multiply by the reciprocal.